Welcome to Sailing Cape Louise. On this trip, I'm alone again and going up to Cowan Creek for two or three days just before Australia Day. Enjoy. Hi, I've just come down to Bob and Head to go for a sail again. Uh, and we've got a bit of English weather for a change. Uh, the rain was meant to be coming at 8 o'clock this morning and passed. It's now 9.30, I've just got down here and it's raining. So I put the tarp on the boat just to stop it filling up because it's not a self-draining cockpit. So I don't really want everything to get wet in there and have to bail it out before I put it in the water. Anyway, I'll sit it out in the car for a while, see what happens. And that's the sound of lorikeets. Well, I've got the sails up, as you can see. It's still pretty cloudy. Um, there were a few showers while I was putting the mast up and everything, but it sort of cleared a bit. Yeah, nice. That reddish-looking bush in the middle is called Christmas bush. I don't know its Latin name, but uh, it flowers around Christmas time. There's a guy over there on one of those hydro-powered surfboards. an AC-75, but uh, he's trying to get up out of the water. Oh dear. There's huge gusts of wind coming through straight down here. Um, I was really lucky that I picked up the mooring before the gusts came or I wouldn't have been able to get it. Doesn't look like much, but it's pretty strong. Well, it's time for lunch. Uh, it's definitely soup weather. So I'm going Dutch curry with rice. Cup of soup. Always like lots of cup of soups, very handy. Got the galley box going. I've just put it down a bit lower to try and keep it more out of the wind. Oh, at long last, the wind's died down, or it's dying down a bit. Um, it's probably about 6.30 now. Most of the afternoon, it was just so windy, I was reading, had a bit of a sleep, couldn't do very much. But now it's dinner time, and tonight, following in the vegetarian theme, um, not vegetable curry tonight, that's tomorrow, but tonight I've got uh, spiced lentil kale koftas. Yeah. So we'll see how these go. I'm hungry. So there we are, vegetarian kofters with rice and chia. Doesn't look the best, but uh, probably tastes all right. The kofters are nice, very nice. I'm not sure about the rice. Well, I have to say, Vegetarian curry is much better. No doubt about it. Well, good morning. It's about nine o'clock. It's still cloudy. It's an interesting night. The wind didn't die down to about midnight, so I didn't put the tarp up over the top. Um, this boat comes with a canvas hatch cover, which is waterproof, so that was just enough. And I've suddenly realised I'm going to make coffee and I've forgotten my milk. I'm not really a lover of black coffee, but um, you have to do what you've got to do. It's about 11 o'clock and we're off sailing again. The wind's picked up probably only two or three knots. I've now put my Perel beads on the uh, main yard to try and get the right position. I think I've got roughly the right position now. See those beads up there attaching the yard to the mast? So that's where we were last night. Two boats have already come in. It's pretty quiet though. There wasn't much wind this morning, that's why I didn't feel much. It's come up a little bit, but not a lot. Anyway, a nice sort of dinghy sail, if you know what I mean. One of these bigger boats obviously need a lot more wind. 
and it's quite narrow down here, so you don't often see big, big yachts sailing down here. Very peaceful though. That's what it's all about. Well, I've picked up a mooring again. Pretty frustrating afternoon. There wasn't a lot of wind really. And when it did come, it was gusty. Um, not as bad as yesterday. So it's a lot more pleasant than yesterday when it was really too much for me. I wanted that mooring over there where there's a lot more room. I haven't moored there before. Didn't quite make it. Uh, a cruiser overtook me. And that's the trouble when you're sailing. You're not actually going that fast. So it's very easy for a houseboat or a cruiser just to overtake you and grab the mooring you're heading for. Anyway, this mooring's all right. Um, it's quiet. Um, out of the wind. It's a nice spot. So I told you I put Perel beads on the front of the spar to attach it to the mast. And it's all about the position of where this is in relation to the front of the spar. Um, so I've put a temporary tie on here so I can move it up and down. When I find the right position, I'll, I'll put a saddle, screw a saddle on, but I don't want to do that until it's ready. The peak horn is normally attached to this strap here, uh, but I actually attached it to here. So I moved it forward to probably about six inches or so, and that seemed to be roughly the right position. Anyway, I think it was quite successful. I'll give it another go tomorrow. I've got the mozzie net up because there's less wind tonight so there might be some mozzies but I don't think I'll put a tarp up About 10 o'clock, gentle two or three knot breeze. Should be a nice day. I really must go kayaking again. Keep thinking about it. Oh, this is a great sail. It's probably about a five to seven knot wind, and we're doing two to two and a half to three knots. It's a great sail. Sun shining, clear blue skies, it's not too busy. Nice, gentle. But the nice thing is, it's consistent. So we're running back now, the wind's behind us. It's still about three, four knots. Beautiful, sunny, very pleasant day. This is what I like about sailing. All in all, a good couple of days. Thanks for watching. See you next time.